Will Poulter's character Adam Warlock in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 gets a new look, and he recently flaunted it on the internet. Adam Warlock, originally known as him, first appeared in Marvel Comics in 1967 as the ideal human being endowed with superhuman abilities, regeneration, and immortality. With this, fans have been obsessing over Will Poulter's makeover since the announcement of his joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe made headlines. So let's take a look at how Poulter's new look draws comparisons to his upcoming role as Adam Warlock. Will Poulter plays the role of Adam Warlock in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. One of Marvel's most powerful superheroes has finally made his way into the MCU. Will Poulter has been cast as Adam Warlock in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which will begin filming later this year under the direction of writer-director James Gunn. Gunn tweeted, Welcome to the Guardians family, Will Poulter. He's a fantastic actor and a nice person. I'll see you in a few weeks. Poulter made his feature film debuts in 2007's Son of Rambo and 2010's The Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. But most people will remember him as the awkward adolescent in 2013's Were the Millers, who is bitten on the testicles by a spider. Poulter has also starred in The Maze Runner serial and 2015's The Revenant, and he is presently starring in Hulu short series Dope Sick. In 2017's Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2, Gunn teased the debut of Adam Warlock in one of the mid-credit teasers. After Aisha, played by Elizabeth Debicki, the leader of the Sovereign People, develops a being she names Adam, with the intention of eliminating the Guardians of the Galaxy. The character was first introduced in the late 1960s to early 1970s, having been produced in a specialized cocoon to be the ideal human. His abilities, which include flying, super strength, regeneration, and energy manipulation, surpass those of the most powerful Marvel characters ever produced. Much of Adam Warlock's comic book past was related to the Infinity Gems called Infinity Stones in the MCU, particularly the Soul Gem. But considering the events of Avengers Endgame, it's uncertain how much they'll play in Guardians Volume 3. Adam Warlock's metamorphosis into the Magus an insane and frighteningly powerful entity drew the Guardians of the Galaxy into the orbit of Kang the Conqueror, one of the MCU's newest big bads as played by Jonathan Majors. Whatever Gunn's current plans are for bringing Warlock into the MCU, he previously stated that he'd hoped to debut the character in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but finally decided to postpone the premiere to Volume 3. They will begin filming next month and will be released on May 6, 2023, five months after Disney Plus's Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. What will Poulter look like as Adam Warlock? The release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 isn't due yet, so we won't get an official glimpse at Will Poulter as Adam Warlock for a long time. When Marvel casts a significant character, fan art of the actor in the role quickly emerges. Adam Warlock was no exception, with Instagram user underscore art can underscore putting together the mock-up to show how they imagine Poulter may look in real life. Poulter's new haircut and color for Warlock were shown in a snapshot shared on social media. Our brains are responsible for everything we've ever accomplished, felt, or dreamed, Poulter wrote in a charity post for Alzheimer's Research UK. That's why I believe Alzheimer's Research UK and the amazing minds working tirelessly to overcome dementia through research will make breakthroughs possible. This mock-up of Will Poulter as Adam Warlock includes parts of essentially every suit he's worn in the comics, as noted in the caption, which is a decent approach to cover ground when you don't know what will influence Adam's appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Perhaps Poulter's Adam will resemble his comic book version, or perhaps, like some of the other Guardians characters, he will be given more creative license with his appearance. For the time being, though, this is a solid depiction of the MCU's Adam Warlock, who we've been waiting to see for four and a half years. Poulter hasn't got many new glances or specifics about his role since then, though he did appear in a photo provided by director James Gunn to commemorate the start of production. Dave Batista, Palm Clementif, Chuck Woody Iwuji, Sean Gunn, Chris Pratt, K. 
Karen Gillan and Zoe Saldana were among the cast members. Everyone I've engaged with there is amazing, Poulter has previously said of his co-stars. You know, I'm very happy to be part of a franchise like Guardians, which I see as one of the most inventive and distinctive. When it comes to the fans, Poulter's casting has already received great feedback. The actor's remarkable metamorphosis and readiness to play one of Marvel's comics' most powerful superheroes sparked outrage on social media when photographs of him preparing for Warlock surfaced. With the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, with the plot of three shrouded in secret, it's tough to determine what awaits Adam Warlock. But it goes without saying that this is a huge opportunity for Will Poulter, who is the first new actor to join the cast of the threequel. Fans can't get over Will Poulter's makeover as Warlock. Fans who may not have previously expressed interest in the actor are now doing so, praising his dazzling good looks in particular. Many similarities to Matthew Lewis, who had a significant glow up after playing Neville Longbottom in the Harry Potter movie, are circulating on Twitter. Poulter has been compared to a fourth Hemsworth brother by some. As you guys know, I'm prone to debunking false stories. So, er, welcome to the Guardians family, Will Poulter, says Peter Quill in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. When Poulter was cast, three writer-director James Gunn tweeted about it. He's a terrific actor and a wonderful guy. See you in a couple weeks, he said. Will Poulter's change has astounded fans who have gone to Twitter to share before and after photos to express their delight. A Twitter user stated that it was past time for fans to start appreciating the actor. I think we as a society should talk about how gorgeous Will Poulter is. Another netizen remarked, while fans are enamored with the actor's appearance, a netizen told that this was not the final look he will wear in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. He hasn't even gone to the gym yet. A lot of people are startled that hashtag Will Poulter is actually hot. Just remember, he hasn't even hit the gym yet, they tweeted. Another fan expressed their desire to glow up like Will Poulter. Fans of the dope sick actor are taking notice of his physical makeover with one admirer posting a video on TikTok showing Poulter before and after photos. The fan wrote, I can't believe this glow up. On Twitter, more followers congratulated Poulter on his new chiseled look, with one asking, sorry, when did Will Poulter get sexy? Another said, holy moly, it is real. Will Poulter got jacked. Someone else commented, oh my God, he looks like Hemsworth. Many fans thought that Zac Efron was in the running for the role of Warlock before this. Given his ties to Thanos in the books, many thought Warlock would make a surprise cameo in either Avengers, Infinity War, or Endgame. Despite Marvel Studios' announcement that several of its Phase 4 projects will be delayed, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is still on pace to hit theaters on May 5, 2023. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 art proves Will Poulter could be a great Adam Warlock. New concept image depicting Will Poulter as Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 demonstrates how well the performer matches the role. Fans may now picture what Poulter would look like in the role thanks to a new piece of fan-created artwork. The power emanating from Poulter's head and eyes, a sign of the character's energy absorption abilities, further transforms him. The artwork gives Poulter a new gold-skinned look, like to the Golden Sovereign from the last film, and gives us a taste of how powerful and mighty he may be in the MCU. Although fans will have to wait a while for any footage of Poulter in action, some artworks give a clear idea of how drastically the actor could change in his MCU debut. His casting announcement raised a few eyebrows, but this, along with the actor's aforementioned physical maturity, is proving Gunn's decision to be correct. It remains to be seen how the Hollywood comedian performs in the role, but fans are eagerly anticipating his appearance as Adam in Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. I'll see you on the channel next time. Until then, it's goodbye.